Now that we got it to this far, I don't want you to get carried away thinking, oh, all I got, got to do is put my box in and I'm done. We now have to think about our project, okay? So there's the existing wire, and here's our other existing wire. Looks like both of those are coming up from the top down. Now, as you remember, there's a stud right here. It goes all the way up. We're going to put this cut-in box in. We're going to have the GFI plug in here, and we're also going to have we're going to have the new plug in there, and we're going to whoops. We're going to put the GFI plug in there. Okay. Now this new plug is going to be controlled by a light switch that's going to be on the other side of this wall and it's just going to control the bottom of this so we know first off from here we've got to go up to a light switch up this way with the wire and then from that light switch we have to come back down too so we've not only got one wire going up it's going to look just like one of these We've also got another wire coming down. So we've got two more wires we've got to put in this box. We're going to have four wires coming out. To make things harder, see, remember this 2x4 here. Well, the, the, there's a light switch. The, there's an existing light switch on the other side of this wall to the right of this 2x4, that way. And that switch controls straight up from here. There's a light on this balcony, OK? So, when I add a light switch inside the room, it's going to be on the other side of here. So I have to cross my wire from here, going through this 2x4, up through this space over here, and up the wall to a, to a light switch box. So what I have to do, usually um, you try to put a light switch straight up. See, over here, this is where the cavity is. From here over this way before the next 2x4. There's another 2x4 like this, 16 inches that way. Then you go straight up and put another light switch. But there's already an existing light switch up there. I don't want to have a single light switch in one location and another single in another location. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna fit it into the existing box. Okay, I'm gonna explain a little bit more, but we gotta go inside. Keep that thought, what I'm trying to tell you so far. Well, come back here to finalize, but I want to show you that light switch so you get the full extent of what we're doing. Okay, we're inside the condo now. Here's the light switch I was telling you about from before. That's already existing on the wall. That switch controls the light on the outside of the deck, straight up from where that GFI plug is that we're working on. Okay, well that GFI plug is like about here and straight down. There's another 2x4 right here and that's that 2x4 next to the next to the plug that we're working on well there's a 2x4 then the plug we've got to drill a hole through that 2x4 then we got to fish a wire from down below over to this location here so if I take this light switch out I'm gonna cut this bigger I'm gonna put another light switch next to this one and so there'll be plenty of room to fish some wires down down the wall in through that stud okay that'll look way better then leaving this, I could leave this switch alone and I could add another light switch over here. But I really don't want to do that. Then I've got two single switches on this wall. It's like, oh, what's that for? It would make it a lot easier, yes. But I want to make this look like it was existing conditions. I don't want someone to say, oh yeah, what'd you do over there? I see you added a light switch. If I put the light switch over here, it's going to be trickier, mind you, but it's going to look way better. It's going to look existing. I'm going to put the same type of faddle, faddle, uh, paddle fan or paddle light switch right here next to here. It's all going to look the same. So whenever you're working on your project, you always want to try to match existing conditions as best you can. Now, here's that deck area. There's all my mess going on out there on the other side of that wall, okay? See, there's an existing plug right there, but I'm not even going to be touching that. All right, so let's go back out on the deck, back to our project. Hopefully you got a better understanding of what I'm trying to do now. We're outside now. Back to our plug area. 
Okay, here's the 2x4. We have to get the wire through there and up through this next bay. And then go up this way to where the new light switch location is going to be. So what I have to do is drill a hole through here. Got to drill a hole through here. And um, I don't want to get it too close to this edge because this box has to slip through there. So if anything, I got to drill the hole three quarters of the way back here without drilling through the sheetrock wall because I don't want to. I don't want to puncture the wall on the other side. So it's going to be kind of tricky. What I'll probably have to do is drill the hole here and then cut it back with a, uh, a sawzall blade and whack it out. Now, if I can't get back far enough, I can always take this box and drill a hole right there. Because see, the knockouts are right along here. So that, that would be okay. That's another good reason for having this box a little bit longer. I could drill a hole right there. Fish the wire through there, push the wire through so it's coming through the side of the box, but in the back, and then out, and then fish these wires through the top of the box. Okay, so there's a couple different things we, we can do. Options with that once we get the hole through there. Now, it's going to be kind of tricky to fish something from here up, but, but uh, stick with me and let's see how we can do this. That's all I have for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.